Welcome to day one of the month of Machine 2013. In this video, we're going to be going over how to use Machine as a live effects unit. The first thing that we need to do is make sure that our audio and MIDI settings are set up correctly. So we're going to go up to the file menu, then we're going to go down to audio and MIDI settings. So now that we're in the audio and MIDI settings, we need to make sure that we have the correct device set up. So for me, I'm using the Audio 8 DJ, but you'll also see that I have the option of using the built-in sound card in my laptop. Since I'm using the Audio 8 DJ, I'll keep that selected. Then I'm gonna go to the routing tab. Then I wanna go to inputs, and you can see that the machine already sets up the particular inputs on my sound card to the machine inputs in the software. If machine doesn't automatically set up the input routing for you, you're gonna to want to go ahead and change those. So you just simply go ahead and click on the particular input that you want, and then select the input from your sound card. If machine already has everything set up automatically for you, then you just need to make sure that you know which input on your sound card goes to which input in machine. When you have the input settings set up correctly, you can simply click OK down at the bottom to save your settings. Now that our audio settings are set up correctly, we need to go ahead and actually tell machine where we would like that input signal to go. So right now you can see that I have a new project, and in group A I have sound 1 selected, and there is nothing in that slot. You should know that with machine, you can do pretty much everything you can do in the software on the hardware. And today we are going to do just that. So we're gonna go ahead and first select the sound that we want to assign this input to. So we're gonna go on sound. Then we're gonna hit pad one just to make sure that we have sound one selected. Then we're gonna go ahead and press shift browse to go into the module section. So right now we are able to select what type of instrument we have on module one. First, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that our type is set to internal. Then we're gonna have the subtype set to instrument. And finally, we're gonna go down and select input. When we have input selected, we're gonna simply go ahead and click load. And you'll see that the input selection is our first module for the sound. Then we'll go ahead and exit the module mode by pressing shift browse again. Now that we have the input set up on sound one, we're gonna to need to go ahead and actually tell it which input we want it to listen to. So we're gonna go ahead and where we have source on the second knob, we're gonna go and change that to EXT in three because that is the one that my microphone is using. Now that I have the microphone set up, you can see in the top right corner with the waveform that as I speak, that the audio is going through machine. The other option that we have on the input is for the level. So I can go ahead and turn it all the way down by turning knob one to the left, or I can go ahead and turn it up by turning it to the right. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it at zero, but of course you can use that particular level to bring the instrument in and out of the mix as you're performing. Now that we have the input selected and we have the audio coming into machine, it's time to actually add an effect. For this, I'm gonna do it in the software. So I'm gonna go ahead and first select our second module on the sound. Then I'm gonna go ahead and click on this arrow to open the drop-down menu with the different built-in effects. So for this tutorial, I'm simply gonna select a basic beat delay. Now you can now hear you that can there, is, there a is a delay in my voice. In my voice.